Michael Reeves and today we're going to do a killer ab workout. I brought you to Maui at the Grand Wailea to do this killer ab workout with weights. When I say weights, you're just going to need one weight. So you can use anything between like two, three, five, eight pounds if you're super strong. So let's come down to the ground and let's get started straight away. If you do a warm up video first, you can get even better results because you're going to be nice and limber. Okay, so let's just warm up those abs. You're going to have your arms over the top of your head. That's just going to help you come all the way up into that sit up and then we're gonna go nice and slow. So that's it, make sure that you have something underneath you that's gonna be nice and smooth, okay? So you're protecting your back and your lower spine. That's it, so just warming up those ab muscles all the way up to the top. If you wanna have a friend that can hold your feet, you can do this as a, even as a partner workout. Oh, well, that's it, so bring it all the way up to the top. Nice big breath in, and as you exhale, you're gonna come all the way down. Okay, let's take it for one more. Squeeze all the way up to the top and take it down okay we've got 15 minutes on the clock we're going to do incredible so grab hold of that weight now we're going to do exactly the same but we're going to have that weight in the hat so you're going to take it down all the way over to the top of your head extend and bring it all the way up again so that's it taking it down keep those arms nice and flat and straight bring it up and then extend okay so let's take it down again we're just warming up guys You've got 15 minutes here with me and the results are going to happen at the end. So you want to keep sure, making sure that you push through the whole exercise. So take it down over the top of your head and then squeeze up. Okay, let's take it for one more. All the way down, put that weight over your head, extend and then squeeze those abs and bring you all the way up to the top. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're just going to do some pulses. So you're going to hold your weight here, you're going to come to halfway, and you're going to extend all the way up. So coming down at that 45 degree angle, and extend. Oh yeah, we're going to ease into it nicely today. You don't have to use weights for this workout, but it's just going to add a little bit more resistance, help build those muscles a little bit more, and of course, most importantly, that post recovery shake at the end. So it's got everything that you need in it, link them below if you need it, because you're going to want it if you're serious about getting those flat abs. Okay, so let's take it down. Stay nice and strong with me. Give me a little smile. Because you're going to be smiling when those abs are looking incredible. So you may as well start smiling now while you're doing the workout. Okay, so take it here. I want you to extend one leg up at a time. Good, we're even getting a nice little arm workout in two here. That's it, so just bringing those legs up and down and squeeze. Lift that chest up. Big breath in. And exhale. Ooh, I always feel that, like when I really concentrate on my breathing, sometimes the pain or the burn goes away from that area that I'm working. Okay, so let's hold it out here. Extend those arms for me for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're going to do the same again. So we're just going to go to halfway and then bring it up. Squeeze it down. You can really just see the sun's going to be glistening on your abs as you're on vacation. What is your body going to look like in that bikini? I want you to feel strong and confident. And that's what we're going to get with these workouts. But you've got to be important. Your, your nutrition is so, so key. 80% nutrition, 20% fitness. Okay, so let's take it out here and then extend. Oh yeah, guys, how much do you want it? Keep moving those legs. Have that chest up for me. Big breath in. And exhale, that's it. Arms out straight. Hold that weight and squeeze for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, up to the top. We're gonna lie down. Okay, you're gonna take one arm over the top of your head. Okay, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna extend up and then we're gonna punch the opposite way. So you're gonna come down all the way. Now, if you need to, you can use this hand to bring you up. But what I want you to try and get to eventually is that you're just using that hand. This one arm is just by your side. So that's it, squeeze it here and then extend and punch across. Oh, now you don't have to use weights in this workout, but what it's going to do is going to maximize those results, give you a little bit more resistance. All the way over the top. That's it. There we go. And squeeze. One more on this side. Come on, you can make it happen. All the way up and push across. Now we're going to do the other side. Just as well as we did the first side. So pull up and then punch across. All the way down. Breathing in and out for me, guys. Make sure you've got some hydrate, you've got some water, you've got something that's going to help you maximize your performance and give you a great 
workout. So important, sport and nutrition, love it. Okay, and all the way up to the top and extend across. Okay, two more on this side. We're five minutes in, guys. How awesome is that? That went so quick. Keep enjoying it, keep having fun, and extend all the way up to the top. So go across and punch. Okay, one more. Come on, guys, we've got one more in the bag. We're gonna make it work and extend. Okay, next exercise, lying down. Get nice and comfortable. We're just gonna have our weight here. We're gonna keep our legs straight and we're gonna push up to the sky. Okay, so just little pulses. Make sure that you've got something underneath your butt. They're making it nice and soft. And push up to the sky. That's really gonna work those lower abs. We're getting that burn. Now, if you want to, you can put your weight down to the side and you can just have your hands here. And that's just gonna help you push up into the sky. But if you want to, you can just grab your weights here and then extend. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, lower those legs down. We're gonna extend those arms over the top. And all we're gonna do is just gonna bring those arms forward, okay? So just working those arms, you're gonna add the legs in in a second, but I just wanna teach you one part at a time. Okay, so we've got those arms working. Now what you wanna do is you're gonna add those legs in. So the legs come together, you touch with the weight, and then extend slowly all the way down. Okay, let's go again. Bring it in, and extend all the way out to the back. Let's go, guys. Come on, push it through, and squeeze. That's it. In together and open. Okay, let's do two more. Squeeze it here, all the way open, and one more. Bring it in together and extend slow, 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 slow down. Okay, awesome job. Let's come all the way up to the top. Okay, put that weight in front of you, and we're going to come onto our hands. Okay, so what I want you to do is just going to have one weight here, and you're just going to row. Okay, so take it nice and slow, rowing in. So four on each side, and now you're going to swing it across, pick it up, three, two, and one, other side, let's go, for four, three, two, one, roll it over across, there we go, come on guys, stay strong, three, two, one, swing it over, come on guys, one more on either side, let's go, for four, three, two, one, and the other side, for four, three, two, one. Okay, nice job guys. So you're gonna come back onto your back. And all you're gonna do this time is you're gonna switch over your weights, okay? So we're just gonna sit here. We're gonna come at a 45 degree angle and we're just gonna breathe in and out. And then turning our oblique. So really working those side muscles. Throwing that weight is just gonna help really burn those oblique muscles, okay? So we're getting everything on fire. You're going to start to really feel that burn. Oh my goodness. It's so tough. Let's keep it going, guys. I want to make sure that you hashtag, I can feel the burn, Rebecca. After you've done every workout, it's going to hold you accountable. And if you need a guide, check out the 30 days to get fit. It's a great calendar that's going to tell you the exact workout to do on what day. So if you're confused, I need a training program, go over to the website. The link has just popped up here. And you can actually find out exactly what kind of training plan that you need that's going to get you the right results. Okay, let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, keep smiling, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, we're going to come onto our side. No break, guys. Come on, let's just keep it going. And I want you to squeeze up your abs, okay? So you're just going to squeeze in and here. You can put this weight up here and just squeeze in together. Woo! Looking good, guys. How much do you want it? You've got to keep fighting all the way to the end. I want to see those abs. I want to see you strong. It's not about looking skinny, guys. It's all about looking strong, having great muscles so that when you're older, you've got great support, great stability, and great balance, okay? So this is why we're doing the workout. It's not all just to look good, but it's also to make sure that we're growing all successfully. Okay, three, two, one. Let's show it around on the other side. So grab that weight and let's bring those legs up. So we're working on those obliques here. You almost just want to think about you're doing like a little crunch. Okay, you can have your elbow and make sure it's underneath your shoulder and then just keep squeezing. Oh my goodness, that sun is kicking in guys. How are you feeling doing a workout with me in Maui? We've also got one from South America, in Aruba, Mexico. So make sure you check out the rest of the videos. Three, two, 
two, and one. Okay, great job. We're gonna twist back round. We're gonna keep going, and we're gonna do some scissors. So legs in the air, okay? You're gonna hold your weight here, and we're just gonna exchange one leg at a time, keeping it nice and still. Now we're gonna add in something a little bit different in the moment. So I know you've already done these before, so now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna pass that weight across. So dropping over to the side and extend. So it's the opposite weight goes onto the opposite side. So we're actually really burning those oblique muscles. We're getting the lower abs too. We are really working on that flat tummy. So let's keep pushing it guys. I wanna see it. We've got five minutes left to go. That's absolutely nothing. Now think about it. What are you gonna do for the next five minutes? Are you gonna work on your results or are you gonna turn this off and end up probably not doing anything at all? That's it. So you've got five minutes. It's no time at all. Let's keep pushing through. Even if you have to drop those weights, let's keep it going. And we have got three, two, and one. Okay, nice work, everybody. Put those feet flat on the ground. And what we're going to do is we're going to come up. Okay, you're just going to touch that weight in between your legs, and you're going to come all the way down. So this one, the weight pushes through the legs instead of over the top. So you want to just have a slightly those knees out to the side as we come through and touch that weight. Oh yeah guys, we are feeling that burn. You're going to get incredible results. You just got to stick to a plan. And that's why the calendar is so key, because it gives you the exact workouts you need to do every day. That's it guys, let's keep pushing through. How much do you want this? Touch that weight in front of you and then nice, slow on the way back. That's it, chest up, and take it down. We're just pushing that weight in between. Now what we're gonna do here, is you're gonna hold that weight, and we're just gonna push and squeeze up and down. So just hold this. Try and keep that chest up for me. That's it, breathing in and out. Keep it going, I know we've been working those abs. We have been filling those abs for the last 10, 11, 12 minutes, but we're gonna keep on going all the way to the end. Let's go, for 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two, one. Okay, great job. We're going to take it back onto that side for those obliques. So you're going to have your hand directly underneath your shoulder, and you're going to have your legs a little bit further apart. Now this time we're going to push out in front and then extend up. So that arm comes in front and all the way up to the top. You guys have done side plank with me before, but we're just gonna variate it up a little bit by adding in these weights and adding in a slightly different movement. So keep your body nice and still. That's it. Woo. You can just look up, making sure that your arm doesn't go far back enough. Okay, so it's really important that as you swing your arm up into the air, it doesn't go behind you. Because that way you're gonna put out your back and you're gonna actually be working your back muscles instead of your abs. Okay, let's do three. Two, and one. Okay, take it down to the side, and we're gonna go up and to the other side. So hand is directly underneath your shoulder. You're gonna have your feet apart, and that arm comes up to the sky, and then just out in front. Nice, everybody. Working those obliques, really pull up on that side. You don't have to use the weight, so if it's too much, just drop it. If you're not feeling the burn enough, I need you to add more weight, push yourself. And so that by the end of the workout, you really feel like you've given your body a great set of exercises that's brought up your heart rate and you know that you're going to get great results. Bring it up, take it down. You can just look up to the sky, making sure that arm doesn't go past your head. And let's go for three, and two, and one. Okay, drop it down, back onto your back. So what we're going to do is we're going to do those bicycles. Okay, so bicycles just here. You're going to keep your chest up. So we're not lying back onto the ground, we're keeping it here. Now what I want you to do is you're going to add that arm in too. So you're extending the arm up in the air, as well as moving those legs. So it's just very small bicycles, crunch that back into the ground. Come on guys, really crunch the back nice into the ground. That's going to get you the better workout when you're really using your ab muscles. You've got 60 seconds left to go. Let's go. Pick up the pace. Drop that head, and let's work on those abs. Push those arms right up into the sky. Keep it nice and, nice and tight. Remember, tight is right. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one. Okay, last set to go. We're going to extend those legs here and we're just going to hold. So five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in together. And the same thing. Come as far as you can without your back coming off the ground. Push that back into the ground. Use your abs and bring it back together. Now hold it down. Come on, squeeze that. How much do you want it? Arm straight, leg straight. Squeeze the back into the ground. I know it's a lot to remember, but once you start to do it over and over again, your body's going to remember these moves. Bring it in. Okay, let's take it down. Hold here. Three, two, one. And then the last one. Let's hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take it down. Bring those arms in towards you. Relax that weight to the side. I was going to do three gentle roll-ups. So one, two, and the last one. All the way up to standing. Come up for me. Oh, shake it out. You guys did incredible. I hope that you made it all the way through the workout. And remember, if you do want to get those incredible results, go check out the 30 Days to Get Fit program. It's going to tell you exactly what workouts to do when. 80% is nutrition, 20% is fitness. So if you need help with your nutrition, click on the link below. We're going to give you a personal tool. That's right, a personal tool in your back pocket so it will help you get amazing results. My name is Rebecca Louise. Make sure you check out my vlog channel so that you can actually see all the amazing things you can do in Maui. And I will see you guys on the next workout.